Welcome to Drawing with Empathy, a natural way for you to connect with the world that you see. I am Heather Williams, and this is Lesson 3 out of 4 video lessons. The focus of this lesson is constellations. Come with me to explore constellations. Have you ever looked up at the night sky and seen the Big Dipper? The Big Dipper is a constellation. A constellation is a group of stars that form a pattern. Long, long ago, people sailed ships across the ocean. What guided them? Constellations guided sailors long, long ago. And constellations in these drawing exercises will guide you as you learn to draw what you observe. We learned about directions in Lesson 1 and intersections in Lesson 2, and here we're learning about a constellation is a group of intersections that form a pattern that guide you in drawing what you see from your point of view, no matter what you're looking at. You look for the intersecting places, and then, just like the constellation of stars, you see their proportionate relationship. And this is what we're looking for. Now, in this drawing, do you see how a group of intersections form a constellation? It'll be different constellations, depending on what you're looking at. This is the same drawing as the one before, but now I'm looking at a different group of constellations. If I need help in drawing this area, I would focus on this constellation. If it was the other area, I'd use that constellation. They're visible patterns that guide your eye and hand in drawing the world you see. We learn to use the word compare in actually all of our classes, to compare this with that, to find things that are similar, things that are different. Now, in the constellations, this is so beautiful, you look at the constellations you see in the world before you, and you compare those constellations with the constellations that you've drawn on your paper. This is critical thinking, using evidence to base your work. Remember, you cannot change the world out there but you can change your paper. And again, extend the directions that you see. Press lightly with your pencil, gaze and relax to allow the creative thinking to open up to new connections, new constellations. The constellations or patterns are everywhere for you to see, take advantage of, and use to compare your drawing. And lesson three now, constellations, is complete. Watch this video again as many times as you wish, and when ready, go to our next and final lesson, lesson four, collisions and transitions.